Hey guys, Kelsey here with ToyNotes.com. Super excited because again, I get to play with more Paw Patrol toys. I love these guys. And this one here is Zoomer Marshall from the Paw Patrol series. It's rated for kids over three, so I'm sure there's gonna be some parts in there that might be choking hazards for younger ages, but I'm not gonna know that until I get this guy open. So let's get him open and see what he can do and play a little bit today. Okay guys, we've got Zoomer Marshall all opened here. Um, right off the bat, I'm seeing this very cool, movable water cannon it looks like, and these are supposed to be water darts that go in there. There's two of these, and these are the parts we were talking about that could potentially be choking hazards, so that's why it's good for kids over three. So this part is all movable, and it clicks. You can hear it clicking. It looks like his head's gonna turn. He's got wheels, so he's probably gonna move. Oh, and I found an on and off switch. So we've got on and off, A and B, and then a volume control button. Yay, parents, we can control the volume. Looks like his batteries go right in his little tushy here. And let's go ahead and take a closer look so that we can play with him a little bit today. Okay guys, let's do our closer look with our good friend Zoomer Marshall here. Um, on first inspection after unboxing him, we saw the two water-like cannons here. And they load into his pup pack, which snaps securely on his back and then clicks to raise in various directions, however you'd like it. These load right in here. And they don't load one at a time. Like you have to have both of them in there to get them to secure in like that. And then there's gray buttons right here that fire, do the firing action. Zoomer Marshall can turn his head. His head is an interactive point. His badge is an interactive point. And then all of his wheels move independently. So at each paw, he has a wheel. And the ankles move um, pretty, you can see how sloppy he is. He can move pretty well. <clears throat> also, his midsection turns to help him move. On the bottom of Zoomer Marshall, you see our volume control. Uh, this A and B that we saw in the unboxing is actually a language setting. One is English and one is Spanish, so that's pretty cool. And we'll go ahead and turn him all the way up so you can hear him. I gotta be careful because he really like wiggles. Come back here, Zoomer. Not so fast. He's a very squirrely toy. It's hard to show you what he can do while him, he's sitting on the table. So I'm just gonna kind of hold him here. Yeah. As you can see, he just like runs. His, his wheels are just going crazy and he doesn't really go in a great direction. These sensors on the front mean that he can follow you because he senses that you're there, but you kind of have to be right on top of him. Wait for me. This is fun. Now if I hit his badge, he'll go for a mission, and there's supposed to be like 80 of these, so that's pretty cool. I'll show you what he says. Here, Chicora! There she is! Let's get her home! Thanks for your help! We need 
turn him off because he's just being crazy. Now, I have to say as a parent watching this, like if you have it on a big open area on the floor and you just watch him go, um, in fact, I'll add in, in a clip so you guys can see him just scooting because he goes so fast and it's actually hilarious to watch because he doesn't really go well in a, in a great direction. He just kind of squirrels all over the place. Even when he's trying to follow you, the the ankles are like hypermobile, so they just he goes crazy. So you can raise this pup pack like this to fire off the water cannons, which you'll see here. You see that they went way far over there. So, um, so that's pretty cool. You only come with two of those, and then having the eighty interactive missions makes this toy pretty neat. Um, but like I said, it's kind of hard to show you guys here and let him talk because he like really never stops moving and he doesn't move in any kind of pattern. He just kind of squirrels all over the place. All right, guys, let's go to final review. Okay, guys, so I normally don't do this before final review, but I wanted to interject really quickly. I've moved Zoomer Marshall to the floor so you guys could more easily see how he moves. Um, it's just kind of funny how he moves, so I wanted you guys to be able to see it today, and I couldn't effectively show you on the table, so we'll go ahead and get him started on the floor, and you can see how he moves a little bit more clearly. Alright, so I just kind of wanted to show you guys, he kind of like serpentines everywhere he goes, and I just thought it was so funny that I had to share with you guys. Okay guys, time for final review with Paw Patrol Zoomer Marshall. I really like this toy. I think it's super cute. Um, it has so much to do with the 80 sayings and tricks and rescues. It's very cute, and as a parent, it was hilarious. I, I was dying laughing just watching this thing squirrel everywhere. Because the middle is movable and so are the ankles like we saw in the closer look, when he's scooting, he's like backing up and turning around, and he looks like he's wagging his tail as he goes, and he actually looks really funny. So I found it entertaining just to watch him like run into everything. Um, that being said, it's supposed to be able to follow you, and the sensors in the front, if I do hold my hand here, he will follow it, but I'm not really sure it's effective because he's just squirrely. Like, everywhere he goes, it's hilarious to watch, but it's not so effective for the following you part. Um, I haven't seen that he really reacts to, he's supposed to react when you, like, scratch his belly. I can't seem to get him to react to that. Um, the biggest thing that he does when I've been playing with it is when you hit his badge button, he goes into rescue mode like we saw. Um, you can give him a bop on the head and he just goes zooming off to find um, whoever's lost and perform a rescue. I like that the pup pack is movable and you can shoot off the water guns like we saw in the closer look. I just did that one accidentally. Um, but it's a lot of fun because it's got a lot of moving parts and a lot of interaction. And then, as I said before, I really think that when you get a toy that comes from a child's favorite show, like Nickelodeon's Paw Patrol, I think that that toy tends to get a lot of replay value because they get to kind of reenact what they're seeing on the television, and this is great for keeping them engaged, but also letting them use their imaginations because he'll say, you know, so-and-so is missing, let's go find them, and then he's zooming off. So it's kind of a fun game that he keeps your child engaged. So I would give this toy a thumbs up. I like that it's affordable. I like that it comes from a favorite kids show. I like that there's a lot to do so you're not hearing, one, your child's going to get bored if they have the same sayings over and over again, and we've seen that time and time again with kids' toys. But two, you're going to get bored with it. I know as a parent, after the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, one millionth time that I've heard a toy say the same thing, it's not funny anymore, it's not fun anymore, I just want to make it be quiet. 
So this does have volume control, which is great for parents, um, but because it has 80 sayings, it's like not a big deal because by the time you hear the 80th one, you're gonna be like, oh, that one's new. So not a big deal at all to me. Um, as a parent, I really like this toy. Again, it's affordable, great for kids over three. I don't recommend it for younger than three. They might like the show, but they don't like to choke. So the water cannons are a choking hazard. If you took those out of the picture, you know, then I don't really see anything wrong with this toy, but it, because it comes with it and it's kind of part of the toy, they do recommend that you just wait until they're a little older and know not to put small pieces in their mouths and risk their lives with it. So that's it for me and Zoomer Marshall here. We're going to take off, but if you guys want to be here for more Toy Notes videos, you have to make sure you're subscribing to the channel, checking back regularly, and giving us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up! We'd love to hear from you guys in the comments too if you have this toy and if your child really likes to play with it, how old they are. And until next time guys, see you soon.